Hey everyone, and welcome to a double header episode of Press This. We got two this week. I'm actually here. Uh, my name is Dan, and I'm joined by Scott. Very cool. Uh, so, what we're actually going to talk about, and the reason we're having this second episode of Press This is because a very special event is happening today. It is the launch of WordPress 3.5. Long awaited. <laughs> Long awaited release. It's been in months and months in the making now, and it's finally coming out today. So let's talk about some of the features. I'm going to start by talking about some of the more visual features and then we'll get into the developer stuff in a little bit, Sounds a couple good. minutes. So uh, the first major one, and we actually, the, uh, was it the two of us? Yes, it, yes, was. it was with Photon. Yeah, That's right. We, did, yeah. we both talked about it. Um, you can see it's our previous video from a couple weeks ago. We actually talked about the new media library, but that's the major difference. It's been overhauled, so it's going to um, run more visually, a little more efficiently, and you can group photos and inter put them into a post together. Gallery, yeah. Enter galleries right into your WordPress post. So a lot of really cool stuff. You can check out the video there if you want to see more. We'll have it posted over there for you. <laughs> um, the next big thing uh, is 2012, so I believe it's kind of rolled out sort of already um, to yeah. a degree, um, but it's going to be the, the de facto standard if you download WordPress 3.5. Um, it's been available um, on WordPress.com for months now, but mm -hmm. this is uh, 2012, so the new theme, the new uh, default theme for WordPress. And what that gives you is a couple things that are really cool. Um, basically, uh, it is responsive, yep. so kind of like we do our minimized theme here. Um, it basically, for mobile devices, phones, iPads, or tablets of any kind, or laptop, computers, whatever it may be, it is responsive and it uh, changes itself accordingly depending on what website mm -hmm. or what device you're uh, viewing the website on. Yes. Um, on that note, uh, 2012 is also Retina ready. And alongside that, the entire back end <laughs> here of WordPress is Retina ready, which is really cool. So if you have one of those fancy new multi thousand uh, dollar <laughs> MacBook Pro Retina display computers, it's going to look super cool when you're editing your stuff. And if you post on um, uh, 2012, it's going to look really nice as well. Side note I wanted to make sure is if you had a website originally that you were using, that is not going to be Retina ready. You still need a plugin. We actually have another video where we talk about a, uh, yeah. from previously where we talk about a Retina plugin one of our developers actually created yep. to make your website Retina ready. But nevertheless, other websites that are not 2012 or the back end are still going to be normal resolution, are still going to look a little funky on Retina unless you upgrade them yourself. Mm -hmm. um, favorite plugins. Favorite plugins. So another new feature is favorite plugins. Do you want to really quickly? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, so uh, it was slated to be in 3.5. We're not 100% sure if it's going to be in there. Yeah. Based on the developer track, it was removed <laughs> and uh, set to a future release. Yeah. But basically, it's going to be on the About screen in the dashboard, yeah. an area where you can set up your favorite plugins. And yeah. this is really cool because it's going to allow you to connect your WordPress.com account yeah. to whatever WordPress.org installation you have. And you're able to view all of your favorite plugins. Right. So no longer do you have to search for you know the name of the plugin that you want to install. Right. You have a nice list right in front of you. Also really great for developers um, who have a certain number of plugins that they want to just be able to grab from their WordPress.org when setting up somebody's website. Yes. Fantastic tool for that as well, which is really nice. Definitely. Being able to just log in with your .org username and find the plugins you need mm -hmm. to meet the job as opposed to going through and finding them and whatever yeah. else you would need to do otherwise. Yeah. Um, to kind of continue with the, the new stuff in 3.5, um, another reason you should update uh, today is uh, they have simplified the main menu of the dashboard a little bit. So it, it, at the very top of the dashboard, there's now sort of these other like portals to other spots in the dashboard to edit content and do different things. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I'm kind of particularly excited about is uh, Tumblr support now, which yeah, is pretty cool. Yeah. So as somebody who was on Tumblr for a while before I discovered this wonderful world of WordPress, um, have you ever had a Tumblr before, Scott? I, I haven't, no? but I know, ex you know yeah, exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, and, uh, I think it'll probably get more Tumblr users over to WordPress now. We'll have to see how that plays out. Right, and the way that's <laughs> going to work is you go to Settings, Import, and you can basically import your Tumblr website from there. Now, similar to, again, a few months ago when Twitter was added with 3.4 and then um, in WordPress, and then with the Facebook pl uh, plugin being added mm -hmm. natively, you do need to generate an app password uh, to allow Tumblr access, and it should walk you right through the process to do that. Um, but once it's there, you can import all your blog stuff from Tumblr right over to your WordPress page. So Very really nice. cool stuff there. Very nice. Um, and then a really quick side note, uh, the links, the links uh, sidebar tab is gone now yep. with 3.5. Um, all right, cool. So that kind of 
takes care of the visual and the new cool updates there. Uh, let's talk about from a developer end, shall okay. we? Yeah, so just really quick and going to fly through these. Yeah. Um, so we have a few new hooks and filters for developers, and you're able to add more customized functionality to your WordPress install. Um, it uh, included in the core installation is now backbone.js, which okay, is cool. very nice, uh, MVC uh, library. Uh, and also uh, for multi-site, uh, you're able to now install multi-site in a subdirectory okay. for you know potentially a more server organization. And also the switch to blog function has been pretty much completely rewritten. It's more efficient, it's faster, the performance is a lot better. It used to be quite a hog, I guess, when you were switching over uh, to the blog. <laughs> okay. Um, WP Query, there has been an enhancement on that okay. as well. We were talking about this before the show. Bit, yeah. yeah. So you're able to now order your query by the post IDs that you mm -hmm. input uh, into the query, mm -hmm. which was not available prior to this. And also, just one last quick mention, a lot of new AJAX functionality in terms of the media library, all of your... Mm -hmm. um, the metadata associated with the attachments is saved on the fly, and also the media library itself is all AJAX, so there's no more iframe or anything like that. Very cool. That's nice. Cool, cool stuff. So great improvements on the developer end, great improvements on the designer end. What are you waiting for? <laughs> you should update to Word 3, uh, WordPress 3.5 today. To get more of this awesome, awesome stuff we have here for you, you can actually go to our website at slocumstudio.com slash subscribe, and we'll keep you updated with any changes that may, may happen. Um, additionally, if you're watching us on YouTube here, you can subscribe to us at Slocum Studio. Thank you again, Scott, for coming on. Thanks for having me, Dan. Thanks, guys. Thanks.